What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Renegade Knuckles from Sonic Prime. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page draw a small oval for the nose. So we'll start in the middle, we go all the way around and back up. Let's fill the center of the nose in black. Now from here we're going to draw the top edge of the muzzle. Let's start over on the left side of the nose. We're going to curl this up and then bend that down towards the right. I just want to curl up the muzzle, going up towards the side of the cheeks. Let's round out the cheeks, going on the left side, coming all the way around and then in. And I'm going to close off the bottom of the head with a curve. Bring this down in the middle and then bend that back up. Now I want to shift the mouth over towards the right side. So we're going to start in the center, then this up and then out. Come down and just tuck that in along the inside. And then on the right, draw a straight angle line, and then we'll fill that in. Now let's work our way around the eyes. We're gonna start right in the middle, start with a straight line going up, go over towards the left, bend the eyelid, going up, and then out towards the left, go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Let's round out the side of the eye, coming out and then back in on top of the cheeks. I'm going to pull the iris and pupil towards the inside. We start on the top left and draw a half oval. I'm going to come down, just pull that up on the inside, and do the same thing on the right. Let's trace the iris along the inside for the pupil. And then along the top of the pupil, add a curve for a highlight. And we'll fill the bottom of the pupils in black. Let's add that X in the center of the head. Starting from the left, bring this down, and then across, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now I move out to the side and draw the first set of extensions. We're gonna line up at the top of the eye, over on the left, bend this down, go across the cheek, and then pull that in. Let's go to the right. Come down, across the cheek, and then in towards the same height. Now we work our way along the outside. Go out, round it up the side, and then pull it in towards the top of the head. Let's close off the top with a curve, going up in the middle, and then back down. Let's round up the side of the hat, starting on the top left. Go up, and bend that in. and we'll close off the top with that same curve. Let's go back over towards the left side, draw the top of the head going up, so we're gonna round this out, and then pull that back down on the right. Now I'm gonna add that basic symbol over on the left side. Let's start with a circle, and we're gonna add a bolt. From the top left, come down at an angle, go across, and then back down. I'm going to add in the wings, about two lines going out toward the side, and down and in, and we'll close off the bottom, and then in the center we're going to add one more line going across. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the side of the body, and we'll start over on the left side, just underneath the head, then the body, coming down and then in towards the hip, go over towards the right, come down and then in towards the same height. Close off the bottom with a curve. Let's add that strap going across the body. Start from the left hip, bend this out, and then up underneath the head. Step up and draw that again. Let's add that buckle along the bottom left, with two lines. Now from the hip, we're gonna add another belt. Stepping up, draw that same curve, then add two lines on the right side. Let's add that patch in the center of the body, starting over on the left, then it's down, and across in behind that strap. Go back to the left, go down a little bit lower, and then in. Let's continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. In the center, let's step down, start with a curve, going up, and then down. Let's go to the left side, bend the leg, going out, and then down toward the left ankle, go to the right, bend this out, and down towards the same height. Let's round out the bottom of the leg, down and then 
this up. Now let's go back up to the hips and round out the side of the leg. Let's start with the left side. We're going to go out and then bring that down. And we're going to add a strap over on the left side with one curve. Now we're going to add that thick cuff around the ankles. On the left side, let's step up. We're going to draw an oval going around the ankle. Just tuck that in on the inside. From the side of the oval, draw two straight lines coming down toward the bottom. And we'll close this off with a curve. Now there's a strap that goes across this band. Let's we'll start right in the middle, bend this in and then back out towards the bottom. Go in the opposite direction on the right. Now in the center, draw one small circle. Now we're going to go to the inside of the cuff and curve the heel coming in and then down towards the bottom of the feet. And then we'll round up the bottom of the feet, starting on the left, bend this down and then back up. Round up the top of the foot, we're gonna go up and just bend that down towards the bottom corner of the cuff. Let's add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. So we're gonna take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. And we'll add a large toe cap starting from the top of this curve. We're gonna bend this in and then down towards the bottom of the feet. Let's add one more trim on the bottom of that toe cap. And then going up to the top of the heel, bend this out and then down. We're going to add one more trim along the top of the foot. We're going to step down, bend this up and in. Let's go back and add a pouch on the left hip. Start from the top of the strap, go out down and then in. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw on the arms. Let's start with the bottom edge from the top of the body. Let's step down, draw a straight line going out in behind those extensions. Let's line this up over on the outside, then the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Let's round up the bottom of the arm going out and then up. Let's follow that curve going up and then in towards the side. Now just like we do with the ankles, we're going to have a thick cuff around the wrist. So from this point, let's step up, draw that oval going all the way around and then up underneath. From the side of the oval, draw two straight angle lines coming down towards the hand. Close off the end with another curve. Now on the outside of the cuff, we're going to add one more angled line. Let's add a strap in the center of the left forearm. So we're going to start with one curve, step up and draw that again. And then on top of the right wrist, add one curve. Now let's draw on those big fists. We're going to start from the bottom corner of the cuff, start with the thumb, we're going to bend this in and then out with a half circle. Let's go to the bottom of the thumb, curl the hand, coming down. I'm just gonna pull that up towards the side. And we're gonna add a half circle coming in and then out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, coming down, and then up towards the side. And we'll add that half circle. Let's close off the top of the hand, and bend this up, and just tuck that in behind the cuff. We wanna leave a little bit of an overlap along the top. Now from these two points, we're gonna add the first spike. I'm gonna come down on the top, and pull that in towards the bottom. Now we wanna go back to the thumb and continue that curve, going out above that spike, and out towards the top of the hand. Let's go back to the inside of the thumb, bend this down, and then out. Then we're going to add the edge of the strap, 
with a curve along the inside. And I want to layer two more spikes on either side. Let's start from the center of this line, and it goes up and out. Pull that back in, and do that one more time. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go back and add another extension layered in behind the arms. Let's start from the side, come straight down, and bend that in behind the arm. Continue this on the inside, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's taper this back up underneath the arms on both sides. And we'll add one more point in between. Coming down and in, bend that back up. Let's finish off by signing an art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Renegade Knuckles from Sonic Prime. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe and check out our other lessons on our channel homepage. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.